she suggested then and now that we spend from land sales proceeds by treating it as revenue divided over the period of the lease. So basically, under the proposal, land sales revenues or proceeds will be spread out over the duration of the lease. In other words, if you have a 99-year parcel of land, we will get about 1% of the proceeds each year. In fact, this alternative is not likely to generate more revenue than what we are already getting today from land sales over a period of time. Currently, when the state sells land, the financial proceeds go into past reserves and they are invested to generate a stream of income into our budget through the NIRC. The effect is that we will be able to spend more than 1% of the proceeds each year because the reserves are being prudently invested and they generate long-term returns, half of which we get to spend as revenue. And we believe this is a more sustainable way of deriving value from the land we own through the NRIRC that benefits us now and in the future. Uh, I wish to respond to what the DPM said earlier about my proposal for land sales proceeds to be taken as revenue divided over the uh, period of the lease. Um, he said that under current arrangement where the land sale proceeds went into reserves and we get NRIC, uh, it generates a uh, more, higher returns, we, we get more revenue from that because we can get more than 1%. Uh, I wish to refute that by uh, pointing out two facts. One, um, if 1% of the land sale proceeds goes into revenue, the other 99% still goes into reserves and continue to earn investment returns. So the drop in NRIC is only with respect to the 1% that did not go into reserves. Um, mathematically speaking, there is no way the investment returns on that 1% uh, can be higher revenue than the entire 1% itself unless we're getting investment returns of 200% per annum from our reserves. Uh, secondly, if we were to implement um, recognizing land sales proceeds as revenue, in the first year, indeed, it will be 1% of land sales revenue, but in the second year, it will be 1% of current year plus 1% of the previous year, and in the third year, 1% of current plus 1% of previous and 1% of the year before, and so on. So again, um, you will not have higher revenue um, under current arrangement. So that misunderstanding having been cleared up, will the DPM reconsider? We did look at uh, Ms. Hazel Pua's proposal. Uh, I think she's right if you work out mathematically, if you use her method in the initial years, maybe you can get more. But we are not looking at just a sugar rush from an immediate injection of funds. We are looking in the longer term. What is a sustainable and, and what is the best approach? And when we look over a longer period of time, frankly, from our assessments, the revenue generated is not very different and we believe what we are doing is a better, more sustainable method because the proceeds are kept in the reserves. We generate returns from the reserves and the returns benefit both today and on an ongoing basis. And uh, second clarification, uh, actually on the exchange with the Honourable Member uh, Ms. Hazel Pua, I think initially the DPM mentioned that based on his economic modelling, uh, Ms. Pua's uh, proposal would not yield more revenue. Uh, but later on, when questioned by Ms. Pua, he sort of, to, to my mind, unless I misheard him, his, the argument changed to one of a sugar rush. So I just wanted to ask if, you know, based on the DPM's original response, uh, that the economic modelling shows that her proposal is not generating any, any revenue. Could, could that model be shared, you know, so that economists and the public can scrutinise that? Thank you. On Ms. Hazapua's suggestion, when I talked about it not yielding more revenue than our current system, I was referring to it from a broader perspective and not just from a year-to-year -year perspective. Right? So it can generate more revenue in the near term, perhaps, but it really depends on the assumptions. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out the assumptions. Just put in a spreadsheet, uh, do your sums, and I think you can, it, you, anyone can figure out that this is, it, actually, it's not very different from what we have today. 